515th Contact Monday, 7th March, 2011 This is an excerpt of the contact conversation published in Figu Special Bulletin No. 61, May 2011. Billy says, but that which interests me now relates to our sun, its eruptions, the dark spots on the surface of the sun, the magnetic field, the plasma vortex and energy mass, and the size in proportion to all planets and moons, and so forth, and everything of significance all around. I am especially interested in regard to the next year in which the sun's 11-year cycle of activity again occurs which, under certain circumstances, can lead to massive electromagnetic disturbances on the earth, and in its outer realm of influence. If you can just say something general in a language understandable for us laypersons, about, for example, what occurred in recent years, what is happening presently and what can result in the coming time. Pata says to be said straight away is that the terrestrial scientists are to a large degree in regard to the sun's lifespan, because it is a dying star and its real remaining lifetime accordingly amounts to only 1,500,000, Three zeros, three zeros to two comma five zero zero, three zeros, three zeros years. To say, further to that, is that the star has drifted for years in a weak dynamic phase, and only becomes more active now and again, for example, in March 2010. The dynamic of the sun is based on cycles of approximately 11 years which, in turn, are connected with the magnetic fields which, however, also impede the emergence of the energy which surges from the interior of the sun. But an even greater number of other factors exists through which all processes are determined. Dark matter, which for the terrestrial scientists is still very mysterious, also thereby plays a certain role, and indeed in particular in regard to the transport of the sun's hot energy because without the influence of the dark matter this would not be possible. The around 6,30 degrees Celsius hot surface of the sun is heated up to 1,30 degrees Celsius by the thermal energy from the interior of the star. This, while the dark sunspots however only have a temperature of around 4,30 degrees Celsius and extend up to 1,700 kilometers deep into the sun's interior by means of their tunnel-like, that is to say, funnel-like form. At these depths it is many millions of degrees Celsius in the star. As a result of these temperatures the inner material of the sun transforms into plasma, into electrically charged gas, whereby these masses shoot out all around the more as flaming plasma at a speed of 100,30 km an hour. If dark sunspots emerge in groups, then enormous sunstorms emerge from them which release energies which are only comparable with the energy of thousands of millions of conventional atomic bombs. The sun lives and hurls its monstrous energies out into its area of the system, even if it is a dying star which presently drifts in a phase of lesser activity. If the new, high phase of activity comes, which is to be expected immediately and in the next year, then it can be monstrously big and can cause very much damage in regard to nature and the human electronic technological advances. Basically. Violent plasma eruptions should have already been occurring for a long time, yet since the activity has, so to speak, dropped to a minimum, greater outbreaks have not occurred up to this point, but, with the new activity which is ahead, they can now be very enormous. The fact is that currently, for that reason, in the sun's interior, enormous changes are taking place, which also show in the form of external effects. For example, on the surface of the sun, an extensive current of material has emerged which is driven by the residue of the magnetic field which has arisen from the weakened, dark sunspots in the direction of the poles of the sun, to then sink again there up to 250,30 km deep into the sun's interior, to then move back again in the direction of the equator. At the mentioned depth of the sun's interior, the magnetic fields again lengthen and also become strong again, which means that they are newly charged with energy, after which they become newly active and break out yet again on the surface and form new, dark sunspots.
From that it also follows that these material currents, together with the different fast rotation of the surface of the Sun, assures that a reversal of the magnetic fields of the Sun results, which manifests every 11 years. Normally the current of material moves very slowly towards the poles, and indeed at a speed of 2.7 to 3.7 km per hour, yet for about 7 years this speed has amounted to about 50 km per hour. The result of this fast current is that the magnetic fields are prevented from emerging on the Sun's equator. This is also the reason why the last three years on Earth had enormously cold winters. The dark sunspots which are surrounded by giant funnel-shaped magnetic field line loops, which transport hot gas and plasma, show the actual magnetic weson one of the Sun. If particularly big energy outbreaks occur, then the magnetic field lines and the plasma free themselves from the sun and shoot away from it. The plasma loops thereby reach, as magnetic energy, up to 100,30 km in length and breadth if they break forth from the sun, whereby giant dark zones then also come about on the sun's surface. If more dark sunspots come about, then the result of that is that magnetic field lines increasingly break through the sun's surface. Therefore the stronger the magnetic field, the more dark sunspots manifest. If, on the other hand, it is weaker, fewer dark spots occur. The sun's magnetic field, called the heliospheric current sheet, has in its rotating, spiral radiation form, an effect on the entire solar system, and, in fact, up to the outermost realms of the Kuiper belt, and still some distance beyond. From these sunspots, magnetic field lines escape from the sun's interior, whereby the sun's ejected energy, which strikes the Earth, is monstrously high. On average, the Earth is struck every single second by an energy mass such as could be produced by approximately 155-160 million atomic power plants. The energy mass is therefore so enormous that 0.01% of it would already be sufficient to meet the energy requirements of the entire terrestrial humanity of 8 billion Earth inhabitants. And what there is to say concerning the size in proportion to the planets and moons, and so forth, in the solar system, is that they come to only exactly 0.2% of the central heavenly body, which contains 99.8% of the entire material content in the solar system. As said, the sun is a dying star, which will still exist for between 1,500,30, three zeros and two comma five zero zero three zeros three zeros years with the presently active age of around five comma three zeros three zeros three zeros years however its your your two origin lies very much further back and is based on your energies the age of which on one hand the terrestrial scientists cannot calculate, and which appears fantastic to them, because it leads back to previous forms of the whole universe about which they lack knowledge and understanding regarding its existence. They do not understand, and are also not able to fathom, that the visible material universe is only the fourth belt of the universe, which consists of seven belts altogether, whereby only the fourth belt has galaxies, nebulae, suns, planets and moons, and so forth, while the inner three and outer three immaterial energy belts cannot be seen and, therefore, the inner and external energy belts, between which the material belt, that is to say, the material universe, is located, and from which the so-called background radiation emerges, cannot be seen. Also, the terrestrial scientists do not know that the material belt renews itself every 49,30, zeros, three zeros, three zeros years which, last time, was around 17,30, zeros, three zeros, three zeros years ago, and that the current material universe is already the third form of the constant renewal and that the entire seven belted universe is already around 46,30, zeros, three zeros, three zeros, three zeros years old. But back to the sun the sun means life for all life forms in the solar system, and those life forms deep in the interior of the earth, which live in complete darkness and never see a ray of sun, also profit from the sun's energy. 
and not only do the planets themselves rotate but the same thing happens with the sun, which, with its own rhythm, rotates on its own axis once every four weeks. However, it thereby has different rotation times and rotation speeds, at the equator, near the poles and in the middle latitudes, whereby that alone guarantees that it can sling the energies which are generated in its innermost region, as far as the outermost edge of its system. Only as a result of the arising friction, between the different fast parts of the points of rotation which have different speeds, do constantly whirling electromagnetic field lines form. What thereby happens is that the more extensive the whirling, the greater the activity of the sun. Presently the sun is passing into a weak dynamic. Consequently there is only a little activity, which is also expressed in few dark sunspots. They are not insignificant in their mass because they in fact often have a size into which the earth would fit five or six times. Yet what there also is to say in regard to the size is that the sun collapses into itself and therefore shrinks, and has indeed done so already for several hundred years. These are the first manifestations of decay to do with the ding of the star, which will only exist for approximately another 1,500,000, 3 zeros to 2,500, 3 zeros, 3 zeros years as a giver or life for the soul system. But also to say is that with very high activity, the heavenly body can again expand some distance or swell somewhat, which however only occurs within a cyclical range after which the reduction or the shrinking drops back again to the original starting point form. Now, what occurs with the upheaval of the cycle this time is still inconclusive, yet it can be said that it can come to an inferno, if your worldly magnetic bows break through and all the earth human beings electronic technological advances on earth and in the earth's orbit are thereby paralyzed. The current electronic technology and thereby also the entirety of the electronics on the earth is extremely sensitive in regard to storms on the sun and other cosmic radiation consequently everything can collapse if strong sunstorm eruptions send their energies to earth and induce storms of electrons on earth. These induce electric currents as a result of which enormous numbers of electrical and therefore, also electromagnetic apparatuses and devices of all kinds can be made inoperable just as can atomic and electric power plants as well as other plants, machines and vehicles, and so forth, which are in any way associated with electrical energy. If something happens in this form then the whole thing is absolutely not harmless because if such harmful consequences arise, then not only do large parts of the economy and medical care, as well as drinking water supply, collapse, but also the production and necessary transport of foodstuffs, as well as general security measures against plundering. Not to mention that, in regard to all earth human advances, a setback in development could result and damage could generally come about in all areas, which would take decades to rectify again. The earth human beings and their governments would also come to the brink of financial ruin, which means that they would become incapable of payment concerning being able to generally address and rectify the damage which had arisen. Criminality and wrongdoing would also climb, along with many other evils, which would be incalculable. This would be the case if a catastrophe in fact arouse in the form in which it could with an overactivity of the sun. But that happening is only a possibility and does not correspond to a prediction, because it still is not certain what will occur when the activity wakes the sun from its slumber. Billy says thank you. You have said and explained more than I actually expected. But it is certainly good that it has all been said. The End